Good morning. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Sam and I am an ALM in training at St Thomas of Beckett Church in Ramsey. Welcome to our All Age service for Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday is the final Sunday in Lent and marks the beginning of Holy Week. We remember the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem, and this is mentioned in all four Gospels. Here is a reading of one account taken from Matthew 21. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there, with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, tell him that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt, placed their cloaks on them, and Jesus sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest! The word Hosanna comes from a Hebrew word, Hoshiana. It's difficult to explain the exact meaning in English. In ancient times, Hosanna was a cry of distress rather than a shout of praise. Normally, the word was directed at the king or God, and it meant something like, please save us, or, oh Lord, we beg you, help us now. Over the centuries, Hosanna's meaning and usage gradually changed and it evolved into a cry of jubilation and a greeting of honour for a king or dignitary. Jesus had become a bit of a celebrity among the people who'd heard about the miraculous raising of Lazarus from the dead. They wanted to see him, treat him like a king. They threw their cloaks and palm leaves down on the ground for him as a sign of respect. These people had really suffered under Roman rule. Here was a descendant of David who would help them get rid of the Romans for good. They believed that he would be their warrior king and free them from the Roman occupation, giving them prosperity and an independent nation once again. But Jesus was not that sort of king. He came to bring them, and us, a different kind of freedom by surrendering to a cruel death on the cross. I'm not sure if I would be a good king or not. How about you? If you suddenly had the power to do anything you wanted, are there any rules at your school or place of work that you would change? Would be things be quite different if you were in charge? Would you be a kind and loving king or a selfish, demanding king or somewhere in between. When we think of a king today, we tend to think of riches, palaces, power and wealth. This was not the sort of king that Jesus was. There were no thrones or magnificent robes, and the only crown he wore was a crown of thorns. He had no power, no wealth, no palace, no army, and he knows he's not the sort of king that people wanted. So what sort of king was Jesus? He was a humble king. He didn't ride into Jerusalem on a magnificent war horse. He rode in on the back of a donkey. He was trying to let people know that he was not the sort of king who would rule or dominate. He was showing that he was a king of peace, and humility. He was a courageous king. He knew that he was riding into Jerusalem and putting his life at risk. 
He knew that there were many religious leaders who hated him and were plotting to kill him, but he did it anyway. He was also a servant king. He didn't come to be served by people, but to serve. He served us in the ultimate way, by laying down his life on the cross. From a worldly perspective, Jesus was not really a king. He was never anointed as king, and he never ruled over any nation. But from a spiritual perspective, we remember his words to Pontius Pilate, that he was born to be a king, but that his kingdom was not from this world. Born to be a king, not in the material world of humans, but a spiritual king anointed by God. Let us worship our humble, courageous and servant king by singing, From Heaven You Came. Let us pray. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. In this time of uncertainty and distress, sustain and support the anxious and fearful, and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, you taught us to love our neighbour 
and to care for those in need, as if we were caring for you. In this time of anxiety, give us strength to comfort the fearful, to tend the sick, and to assure the isolated of our love and your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, give skill, sympathy and resilience to all who are caring for the sick and your wisdom to those searching for a cure. Strengthen them with your spirit that through their work many will be restored to health. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will leave you with the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and evermore. Amen.